hey yo what's up guys welcome back to another quick video in this one we want to implement a delete button on the application all right so it will be like this all right so if we want to delete this item you can click on the trash can right here and it will ask are you sure you want to delete if you click on the yes it will delete that item and redirect you to the list item page okay now if you click on the delete and you select cancel it will take you back to that page without deleting that actual item all right so if you're interested in this kind of videos and you're new to this channel or you've not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button so that you will not miss videos like this we do post videos on tuesdays and fridays so make sure you visit us to be updated with new videos all right so with that said i'm gonna take you to the step-by-step -step code which is just four simple steps so we're gonna create a delete view and then add a template that has this form that asks for you to click yes to confirm if you want to delete and then we can do the url pad and also the delete button that we add on the template page all right so step one is to create the delete view so i'm gonna select step one here and then right click click on copy switch to sublime and open views.py all right so i'm gonna scroll all the way down and paste the code all right so we're gonna create a view and name it delete items all right so we will do a query set which is similar to what we did for the update items view okay all right so we're gonna pass in the id of the object that we want to delete and then filter the object then assign that object to the query set okay so once a condition is met, then we can do query set dot delete. All right. So that's the query set that was assigned originally up here. All right. So we're going to delete whatever item or whatever object was assigned to it. And then redirect you to the list of item page. All right. So I'm going to save it and then move to step number two. So at step number two, we're going to create a template and add a form that will have the input button type of submit that will create a post request so that we will match this post request and then the delete will be executed all right so i'm gonna copy this line and then switch back to sublime so now i'm gonna have a template that has a form in it okay so if i look into my um templates i have something similar right here that is the add items template Okay, so I'm gonna save this as. I'm gonna click File, Save As. I'm gonna save this as the delete items. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the title and then replace the form. So I'm gonna select from H1 tag all the way up to the closing tag of the form and replace it with what I just copied on step two. Okay, so I'm gonna indent that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is we've created a H1 tag asking are we saw sure we want to delete and then we do a break right there and then create an input field with a type of submit and the value will be yes, that will be what the users will see on the browser. But now if they click on the yes, it will do a submit that is gonna be kind of a post request based on the method that we have here, okay? So we're gonna create another anchor tag and that will be linked to the list of item page. All right, and then the text for that will be cancel so that if the users click on the cancel it will take us to list of item page so i'm gonna save this and then move to step number three so right here we're gonna copy this code and then paste it in the urls.py so i'm gonna open urls.py okay so i'm gonna paste it right below the update items url so this will take us to the delete item url and pass in the id of the object that is selected and now we'll call the delete item view okay so i'm gonna save it and then move to the next step all right so i'm gonna copy this line and then paste it in list of item page we have list item right here okay so i'm gonna scroll down so this is what we have currently we have our count category item name and quantity in store okay so we're gonna create another header 
I'm gonna create a th and then give it a heading of delete. All right, so the code that was copied will be pasted right there. So what this code will do is very similar to what we have with the update item view. Okay, so we're gonna have delete here that the users will see, and that will take us to the URL of delete item. So if I open URL.py, we have this name delete item. So that's what we are calling right here. Okay, so we have this delete item, and that will also take in the ID of the instance from the query set right here from the for loop. Okay, All right. So I'm gonna save that and then do a refresh on the application. Okay, so we have this delete column right there. All right, so let's test this item number nine. So I'm gonna click delete. Are you sure you want to delete? I'm gonna click cancel. All right, it takes me back. So I'm gonna click delete again. And then yes this time. Okay, so we can see item number nine there is deleted. Okay, so we want to change this delete to an icon. Okay, so I got this file downloaded already and then I put it in the static file in the img folder i have this delete image right here so that's what i'm going to reference i'm going to remove the delete and then replace it with an icon all right so we're going to use an html image tag okay so i'm going to insert the django way of rendering images on the browser okay so we're going to have static and then specify where the image can be found so in my case it's found in img then slash then the name of the image del dot png so i'm gonna save it and then refresh the application all right so you can see the image just appeared you can now click on it and then see that it is working as expected all right so i'm gonna click yes all right so this is how to implement delete in your application if you enjoyed this video please click on the like button if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and don't forget to share this with anyone that will be interested in tutorials like this so if you head to the website you can see we have shared um, links so you can use any of this link to share it with friends and family members that will be interested in things like this all right so see you in the next video